Good day, everybody. My name is Les Borey. I'm reporting for Rebellion Party and Brantford News. Well, folks, things are just uh, a little bit weird these days, as we all know, with this uh, pandemic, this novel coronavirus, as it's called. By the way, novel is another word for uh, fictional, made up. Now, I don't know if, they're, uh, if that was the intent to name uh, the coronavirus, the novel coronavirus, to, to kind of giggle away a little bit, you know, behind the scenes there, uh, amongst the powers that be, and uh, pretty much uh, tell us exactly what it is. Uh, I still think that uh, there is a strain of uh, some virus out there that uh, makes people a little, a little sick, I guess, but with interesting symptoms. Uh, with the scratchy throat thing, I've heard complaints of uh, people spitting out uh, clear fluid after they've been coughing a lot. So uh, I do believe there's something going on, but it's, uh, it's lethality has been exaggerated. And I'm not sure what's going on in those seniors' homes. Um, I know about the Talmud, so I'm always generally suspicious when I see uh, things like this occurring in this world. And I also know about the Communist International as well. It was started by the uh, Russian government in 1917, around that time after they uh, took over power from the Russians. And those people weren't Russian, they were Jewish. Uh, Russia had a Jewish government that killed like 66 million of their people, or you know, tens of millions anyhow, it's all arguable. But the fact that they smoked a lot of people pretty much is uh, widely accepted. There are other lies in this world that are widely accepted as well, so discussion's a good thing. Now, let's have a discussion about uh, Miss Teresa Tam. Now, personally, I couldn't care less if someone's a transvestite, transsexual, whatever, as long as they're serving us well. Well, Miss Tam, I believe, is a Chinese communist agent. Uh, she came out of nowhere, and people have told me that she was born as a man in Hong Kong, which is fine, and they're kind of playing her off as a lady here, all right, and it's pretty hard to miss her Adam's apple. And when I first saw her, uh, it wasn't just, uh, it wasn't, uh, I wasn't worried about the way she looked as far as attractiveness goes, but I thought there was something very peculiar about her, all right? And uh, I didn't really notice the Adam's apple, it didn't look real deep, but I have noticed it lately. So, I'm a little bit, uh, not proud, but just kind of, it's fun to guess right sometimes, all right guys, even when you really don't want to be correct. So what she wants to do is she wants to introduce contact tracing, which means that we'll be on permanent surveillance for the rest of our lives. And also, she says that we should undergo a lot of testing. Well, it's not just like you're given a sample of your blood or, you know, you spit into a swab or something like that. I believe the testing involves a wetted swab with some substance on it going up into your nasal cavities very deep, like four or five inches deep into your head. All right, that seems very unusual to me. In all my life, I've never heard of such a thing. All right. And also, if she's given Mr. Trudeau orders and he's following them, then, he's, then she's the one that initiated the policy of no normal and no freedom until we all get vaccinated. So, I don't know where this vaccine is going to come from. And it might be the first vaccine in the history of the world that actually does what it's supposed to do. And I doubt that's the case. Mr. Gates seems to be on, in the forefront of this vaccine development. And Mr. Gates, I've watched a video of Mr. Gates saying that if we do nutrition right, and we do medicine right, we can reduce the world's population by 10 or 15%. So that's a weird thing for a guy to say. Normally you'd think you'd uh, say something like, we prevent a certain amount of deaths. But what Mr. Gates seemed to have said was that he's going to cause deaths. And I know I don't want a vaccine in my arm. There's a lot of people around that don't want it either. All right. Now, so I can't help but think that someone's having a laugh at our expense. And there's a lot to laugh at Canada about, let me tell you. I've been in a lot of federal elections, and I've been in a provincial, and people vote terribly. 
I'm trying to church it up a bit here. And basically, you see these conservatives voting to throw soldiers on the street, conservatives voting to run up our national debt, uh, a la Harper bailing out the banks for like $235 billion back in 2008, 2009. All right. Harper also allowed the sale of the Athabasca Oil Sands Company or the Oil Sands Corporation, Nexon, and I believe it's called Daylight Energy, to the uh, Chinese National Oil Company. All right, we don't even nationalize our own stuff here, and we should. All the big industry, if we nationalized it, the federal government could be a river of of prosperity to the people. All right, everybody could pay the lowest possible prices for the basic goods that they can use to manufacture the goods that Canadians need. All right, but we don't do that. We sell it out to the communist Chinese. And now Trudeau wants to build a pipeline to connect the communist Chinese with their purchases in Alberta and Saskatchewan and maybe even in BC. Okay, so we've got big problems in Canada and voting is one of our biggest problems. And we might not have that problem after a while if this virus uh, is still in the news, because it's like a news story, that's about all it is. I don't see people dropping dead. What they might do is suspend democracy and say, oh, it's too dangerous for you to vote and choose your government. You'll have to keep us commies in power. All right, communism has a way of not going away. Communism is unbelievably bad, it depends on what kind, basically, uh, I don't like any kind of it, but the only kind of uh, beneficial communism I've ever even heard of would have been Ho Chi Minh because he was more of a nationalist than a communist. And even Ho Chi Minh took on the commie Chinese. All right, I hate communism. As far as that Bolshevik Jewish communism goes, it's just Jewish supremacy. It's garbage. The only person that I could think of that benefited from communism or that used communism to benefit his people was Ho Chi Minh. And after a while, they went to a capitalist system, which is basically like Zionist communism, all right? Uh, the winner takes all there as well. It's not a good system at all. I'm not proposing that uh, we go commie. Believe me, I hate communism. My parents came from a communist country. I just want to be fair about the topic, that's all. All right, but that Bolshevik communism, that Jewish supremacy that killed way more people than the Hollywood Nazis is uh, basically the origin of Chinese communism. They taught the Chinese how to do it, and now they have Zionist communism in China. So Israel's probably got a hand in this somewhere, too. Although I have no evidence, but, you know, the usual suspects are the usual suspects. And there's a reason that they are that, all right? Now, if a transgender person got into our parliament and told people that, hey, we should print money without interest, well, I'd be listening. If that person said that we should back our currency with labor, I'd very much be listening. If that person suggested that maybe the uh, civil service could be funded entirely with money that was earned into existence by the employees of the civil service, well, let me tell you folks, that would mean that we wouldn't have to pay taxes, maybe only corporations, just to uh, make it a little bit even for mom and pa to come back. All right, because these mom and pa businesses have been crushed by globalist corporations. And globalism is just another term for Zionist communist. All right, Zionist Bolshevism. That's all it is. Wherever a, a big corporation shows up, mom and dad die. Just like communism, it's crap. All right? So, if we want to have a decent country, we might want to listen to people with different ideas, no matter what they look like, and chances are they're decent people. So this isn't just because someone's transgendered, okay? I'm not here to, to beat people down for that reason. It's not my thing. I really don't like it myself either. I don't like people bullying people just for stupid reasons. But I'm judging Miss Tam on her actions, all right? And it's got commie written all over it. Chinese commie, Zionist commie, globalism, one world government, new world order. You name it, it is it. All right, it's everything except for sexy, all right? This communism sucks. I hate it. Ladies and gentlemen, we really got to pull our heads out of our asses and start thinking about what these people are going to do to us. All right? They're trying to take our firearms away. And after that, 
they won't have to hold back too much at all. Now, Canadians, I don't know if they've got the stomach to defend themselves even, okay? I don't think they have the, the mental capacity to realize that they're being lined up for destruction. And this Tam lady came out of nowhere and seems to be the, uh, the conductor of this show. All right? So I think we should uh, just do a little bit more thinking, folks. And maybe consider what I've said. You've probably already concluded this yourselves. So my job basically is uh, is done here then. All right. I just wish you all the best. We've been very good throughout this trying time. Everyone's been very decent. And the press has been trying to race bait this entire nation. And the people in this nation are mostly decent people. Even the new immigrants that came here that aren't white. They aren't falling for this uh, race baiting too much, I hope, all right? They seem very nice to me when I encounter them out in the street. So uh, let's see if we can uh, keep this thing Canadian. And we are, I am convinced, going to have to step out of uh, the democratic process. Well, we don't have it anymore. They've thrown us out of it. So we're basically we're all on the outside of it now anyhow. And we're going to have to decide how we want to move forward as Canadians without the democratic process until we can reinstate it. But we have to get organized. We have to know what positions of power that we should occupy. All right, guys, that's a whole different video. Now, my name is Leslie Borey, and I want a free Canada. And I want a Canada where people have opportunity, where they're safe to walk down the streets, where our borders are secure and where the government isn't telling you what to do every minute of the day because that lifestyle is upon us now all right guys so stay Canadian keep it real keep it decent because in a short amount of time we might have to do things that we never ever thought we'd have to do in our lives all right guys I like you very much. You guys are pretty decent to me on the streets. I'm glad to try and help. Have a very good day, my friends.